Okay, I am going to try to film Ron making this connection. Okay. And I'm going to at the same time try to stay out of his way. So talk us through it, Ron. All right, first we're going to lay out our line, um, and then we're going to use a tubing cutter to cut the line off here. And once we get that cut off, we'll make sure we deburr the end of it so that the ferrule assembly will crimp down properly on the swag lock. Okay, and just for the guys watching, we are in the, at the totalizer box doing this. So he's making his connection to the totalizer. Okay, okay. Now, got him cut. Now we'll just make sure we get any little burrs that we might have on this edge here so that the ferrule slides on good. And you can use a file or sandpaper, something easy. Just make sure we don't get anything in the line. Okay. And we just want to get the edge of it. We don't want to get any farther back because the ferrule needs a seat in this area yep, here. Yep, so we yep. don't want that to okay. be a problem. Okay, makes perfect sense. So that feels pretty good now. Okay. All right. We're going to get out a packet of swage locks. There's too many here. And there's three, three pieces. Three pieces. You have the nut. Slide that on. Then we have two-piece ferrule. And show. This see. is this is got a dome and concave on this side. Just slide that right on like that. Okay. And then of course the cone, the second part of the ferrule. It's just like that. Okay. So the cone is kind of arrow shaped and it's pointing out towards the end of the line. Yep. And that will connect on just like this. Okay. Go ahead. So we're gonna slide this on as far as we can go. Okay. Run those all up. Keep that line in. Don't let it slide out. And make sure those get started on there. Make sure the line is uh, straight. Just put it on till you're snug with the fingers. Finger tight. And then, get my right wrenches I have here. Okay. Seven sixteenths. For this here. Okay, 7 sixteenths on the swage lock. And 9 sixteenths for the coupler end. So we're just going to do for tightening and seating of the uh, ferrule, we're going to do a three quarter turn. Okay. So we'll do a quarter, half, and three quarter. And he had to put some pressure on that guy yeah. to get that, to get that last quarter. So that's all there is to that. Um, we now have them all made up in that box, and we can move to the next one. Real quick on that Christmas tree before I shut this down, Ron. Uh, show us where load cell number one comes in on that totalizer. Okay, load cell number one in the actual uh, valve body here, manifold, is back here. Goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And on the actual tree here, uh, this is looks a one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And these are the perch uh, valves for those. These uh, copper. Yep. Those brass. Okay. Uh, plugs brass plugs. We'll use those later on to purge the okay. total lines. Thank you, sir.